Do you know what you need to know for your Ohio Medicare Supplement Plan F? Well, hey, stick around. How's it going, everybody? I'm Joey Jingola with Jingola Insurance, and today we're going to be talking about Plan F and the specifics of it and what you actually need to know about it. So finally, it's time to actually get serious and start applying, looking into all the fun stuff that goes around your Medicare supplement policies. Your mailbox and phone have probably been getting abused by people who are too excited to tell you that you're getting old. I'm sorry. Trying to sort through the desperate sales tactics can be exhausting, especially when you just want somebody to help you not have to think about your Medicare supplement anymore. Like that's it. Well, so that's exactly what we can hopefully do today. We're gonna take a look at all the moving parts of your Medicare supplement plan F, what it covers, and how you can expect it to work when you need it the most. We're even gonna take a look at how that pesky high deductible plan F fits in the equation as well. So let's get started. So first question, what does Medicare plan F cover? Great question. And before we get started, it's easier to think of the different plans of Medicare as building blocks. Each plan or part essentially kind of builds on top of each other, one on top of each other. Part A handles anything dealing with being admitted to the hospital, where Part B handles anything dealing with not being admitted to the hospital and outpatient services. Your Medicare Plan F is going to handle your Medicare Part B excess charge as well. Basically what Medicare Part B excess charge means is that, hey, sometimes a doctor is going to want to charge you more than what Medicare says they can, and they're going to send you the extra bill for the amount that Medicare is not giving your doctor, and Medicare Plan F, your supplement, is going to pay that difference because the doctor's just being a little greedy. That's right. I said it. And the biggest difference between Plan F and Plan G is that your Plan F is going to cover the deductible for your Medicare Part B, whereas Plan G will not. Now, Medicare Plan C is really not sold by itself anymore, but a lot of the core stuff that it covered is really, again, like I said, built into the base of these other plans like F and G. We're talking about things like hospitalization, co-payments, and co-insurance, hospitalization benefits for 365 additional days after original Medicare benefits, hospice care, the first three pints of blood, other medical expenses for Medicare approved services and supplies, up to 100 days of coverage for skilled nursing facilities, benefits for emergency medical care while traveling abroad, coverage for your original Medicare Part A and Part B deductibles, like we said. So now that's obviously a lot. That's all included in Plan F. And basically what that means is, is your deductible for Part A will be taken care of with your Plan F supplement and your deductible for Part B will be taken care of for your Plan F supplement as well. So what about those hospitalization benefits for an extra 365 days? Basically, once you've exceeded the original Medicare limits on that policy, then that's where the Plan F is going to kick in and give you an additional 365 days. I mean, I hope you never have to spend 365 days in the hospital, but just in case you do, it's there. What about hospice care? Again, this is, I mean, if this is something, if you're there, Let's put it this way. You should be doing something else other than watching this video if you're in hospice. But if you're worried about it, just kind of down the road sort of thing, don't worry, it's gonna be taken care of. So you're not gonna have to freak out and really just kind of go out in style. Send yourself off with a bang and not have to worry about all of the costs associated with that. So what about skilled nursing? Well, as you heard me say, you have 100 days of skilled nursing coverage. Now, the only catch there is, is that you have to be admitted to the hospital for at least three days before being eligible to get the skilled nursing covered. And you also are going to have to enter that skilled nursing facility within 30 days of being treated or admitted to the hospital. Once you've done that, then you're going to have basically 20 days of covered skilled nursing treatment that is not going to be much of a problem. From days 21 to 100 is where you will have to pay a small amount of money for those extra days to be covered. After day 100, on day 101, well, that's where you're gonna to wanna to look out because you're going to be paying for the full ticket of those services. What about when you're out of the country, traveling abroad and living your retirement and golden years to the fullest? Well, that's good that you're doing that. Uh, just know that you will have coverage for any emergency treatment that is going to be needed. So again, if you, you know, fall, trip, break something, end up in the hospital, that's gonna be an emergency procedure, whereas, if you just run around the corner for a treatment for a sinus infection, not necessarily going to be what you're looking for. And that's okay because you want the bigger thing to be covered as opposed to the smaller thing. The sinus infection, a lot less expensive to be treated than having, you know, maybe surgery on a broken bone. So that's good. So now what about this high deductible plan F that you keep hearing about possibly? If I'm going to be totally honest, 
with the current state of health insurance in this country, calling this a high deductible is a little bit of a stretch in my opinion. Basically, you're gonna have a $2,200 deductible. While that sounds like a lot of money, if you are healthy and or prefer a lower monthly payment, this might not be a bad way to go. Of course, without question, the high deductible plan F is definitely gonna be one of your most economically friendly options as far as paying on a month to month basis. So what's the bottom line? Plan F is really a solid option all the way around for limiting the potential costs that you might see under Medicare. This supplement has been one of the most popular plans since it was debuted, rolled out and whatever. Well, what's the next step? Well, if you have any specific questions of your own about your Medicare supplement here in Ohio, Plan F, Plan G, Plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or not, whatever. If you have any questions on the alphabet game, feel free to let me know. Reach out, send me an email, joey at jingolainsurance.com. Shoot me an email or you know, give me a phone call. I'll be happy to help answer any of your additional questions about these different plans and which one might be the right fit for you. But of course, as always, I am Joey Jingola with Jingola Insurance. Take it easy, everybody.